Hello there, Vicious5150 here, and welcome to the February 2021 edition of Ask Me Anything. I can't believe we're here for Ask Me Anything, part five. We do these every single month, and I get you guys to submit all of your most craziest questions ever. And we're going to answer them today on Vicious 5150's channel. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for submitting your questions. We got a grand total of 26 today. We are going to answer them all, but before we answer them all, any of them at all, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share with your friends the five demandments, brother. But with all the Hulk Hoganing out of the way, let's get into some Q&A. A. Number one, from Instagram, DabberDahut710, what is your least favorite food? I'm going to say whole wheat bread. I can't stand it. Thank you very much for the question though. Number two, Chad Swanson. What the hell happened to your ear? It's on this side, see? Thank you for your question. Number three, Caleb McMillan. What brings 5150 the most joy? Why our friendship, of course, and answering that lovely question. Thank you very much for it. Miss you, buddy. Number four, Joey Garwood. <laughs> Oh my goodness, do you twitch your eyes? Yes, I do. But I don't care. I love my twitchy eyes. <sighs> Anyways, number five. Caleb Adam, a.k.a. Kairos. Have all the hazmat members ever shared a bed? Yeah, times are tough. You gotta share a hotel room with two beds, four people. They all sleep on the floor, and I sleep on a, ba a bed. And then there's an empty bed, so... Yeah, that's my rendition of sharing a bed. The floor is a bed that they are not sharing with me. Anyways, Caleb number two, Caleb Bumbleclap. And if so, is there room for one more? We already have a slum glutton. So yeah, that answers your question. Anyways, number seven, Champino, do you ever get mad? You look as happy as a dolphin. I asked dolphins if they're really, truly happy because I don't think they are. You know what they said to me? They said, uh, I'm mad at myself for that one. No, I'm not. I'm very, very proud of myself for that. Anyways, thank you for the question. Next, number eight, Orion Vincent. Of course, it's a fucking Stevie P question. How many huffs does it take for Stevie P to harf a dart? Twelve. I've decided. Thank you very much for that, and I look forward to your next Stevie P question, because that's all you ever do, you broken record. Anyways, number nine, Jeffrey Frank. How many cats do the whole hazmat crew have? I don't know. I think, I want to say three. I don't have any. I used to have one. She was a lovely Himalayan Persian. She was the sweetest cat ever. I miss her so much. But uh, yeah, we have a few cats collectively as a crew, except for me. I don't know. I don't know if Shua does, but I think he has a doggy. I'm pretty sure he has a doggy. Anyways, number 10, Slum Glutton. Does your face always look like this? Yes, it does. Number 11, Scholastic. Why the name Vicious5150? Now, that is a great, great question. So, a lot of people do ask me that, but I'm going to answer it. Um, vicious5150, like, Vicious is just a cool word that I wanted to put into my name, and I wanted to add something else to it. And 5150 is like a code for... It's either criminal insanity, or it's also... Uh, in danger to themselves or to other people and like my parents used to work in mental health and stuff like that way back in the day so it's like it was kind of an homage to like what they did and also just like I was always fascinated about like human psychology and all that kind of stuff so it was like and it was a cool thing because like I have like lots of different kind of styles so you don't know like where the hell I'm gonna go with it because I like to be unpredictable so I kind of wanted to add that into my name you know so like Vicious5150 and nobody else ever had that name so it stuck and uh yeah, plus also there was an easy EP called 5150 Home for the Sick that was sitting in front of me at the time. And I kind of just thought, like, I just started running through it. And I was like, you know what, that's a good uh, it's a good little piece together. So that's what it was. I kind of just slapped a name together and it stuck. You know, it's like the classic throw shit at a wall until something sticks. That's what happened. Thank you very much for the question, Scully. Anyways, number 12, Little Woody Wood, the homeboy. What was the first song you put online and does it still exist? 
You know, honestly, I couldn't tell you the very first song I put online, like, ever. But uh, I would imagine it still exists out there. Like, it's... I've been putting up music for a very long time. Anything that I wouldn't have put online or would have put online way back in the day, I guess it wouldn't exist right now because some of those were over, like, Jack Beats and under, like, like um, less quality recording. But, yeah, it would probably be a Jack Beat, something I couldn't even put up online anyway. But I wouldn't even know where to start with all that. But it was a very, very, very long time ago. 13, Scotty Nelson. Can you please never, ever, ever, ever take another 3D photo of yourself? I'm going to see that in my dreams for the next few days. Absolutely not. In your dreams. Number 14. 14. Another Scott. Scott McGannon. Who's a better rapper? Ryan Hoover, Joshua, Lynn Scott. Be honest. So RC the Hazard or Shua. They're both special in their own way. I'm not going to say that. The answer is me. Okay. Number 15. RC the Hazard. Mystical once claimed to be Prince of the South. Is that title for him ideal, at least in 1998? And if so, who was or is the King of the South then, in your opinion? Then and now, Scarface. And it never won't be Scarface. Like, that's a fact. Number 16, Guy Woods. Why would the woodchuck wood if it could? And why is the moon color the color of a moon? Is it our moon or someone else's moon? Yes. Number 17, Tichez, do you always buy the same pair of shoes? Yes, it's always going to be New Balance. Number 18, Omen, can you believe it's not butter? Nope, still can't, and I refuse to believe otherwise. Number 19, when will you pick up your hat? He made a vicious 5150 hat for me. Thank you very much. And the answer to your question is soon. Number 20, Mr. Mike, how many albums are you going to drop this year? I don't know, but I'm going to be focusing on dropping a lot more singles and music videos this year, so we're going to be looking out for that. Who knows? Number 21, Leo Renzo Livewire. Would you be a guest on my little show? I'd be honored. My question, my answer is, I'd be honored too. Yes, I will be doing that. We're going to work that out. Number 22, Swamp Tiger. Why does this picture look like DP and Red Shirt Mike had a baby out of wedlock? I fucking cry laughed at that one, honestly. I don't even have an answer to that, but all I can say is that was a good, good comparison. I'm very, very happy that you said that. That's hilarious. Number 23, IZK. When do you think you can perform again? Well, that's up to whoever it's up to. Who knows? I don't know, but I'd like to do that. Number 24, Rackin Arafi, another, what's it called, another Instagram person, and yeah, forgive me if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, how do you come up with enough song lyrics to make a full song? Um, how, do, how do I come up with enough lyrics to make a full song? It just kind of comes to me. Like, I start writing and see where it goes, and then it just kind of formulates into a whole song. Two 16 bars is what I usually end up doing, and I put together a hook and all that stuff. Like, I don't know, it's kind of let the lyrics or the music guide me into something and we'll see what ends up happening. So it's really various processes. There's no one right answer I could give you. But uh, thanks very much for the question. Number 25, Nina Shade. Does dog have a Buddha nature? Absolutely. Why wouldn't it? I don't know. Anyways, number 26, the final question. Who's your favorite member of Wu-Tang Clan and why is it Jizza? Um, Jizza does hold the title for my favorite solo album that they've ever done, Liquid Swords. Only second, like right on the same wavelength as Raekwon, only built for Cuban links. But honestly, I like every member for different reasons. Like when ODB passed away, it was like, I, I couldn't even really listen to Wu-Tang the same. I'm like, it's never going to be the same ever because you need all of them for that dynamic, even if they're not all on the same song. It's just, they all kind of complement each other. Like them all being there makes it, it'd be like if Bone Thugs and Harmony, if somebody like died from that group, like hopefully never, like I hope they live to be like a thousand. But uh, fucking yeah, if they all die, like it'd be like the weirdest thing of like, ah, oh, it's not the same and it never will be the same because you can't replace that. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, my answer to that is that they're all my favorite in different ways. But um, yeah, the two favorite solo albums would be Raekwon's first one and Jizza's, I guess, second one because he had words from the genius. That one I wasn't feeling as much. But yeah, Liquid Swords is my favorite and only built for Cuban links. Anyways, that concludes all of the Q&A. 
for the Ask Me Anything. Thank you very much for all of your questions, and we'll be seeing you next month for Ask Me Anything Episode 6, the March edition. It's going to be madness. Oh, yeah. Anyways, thank you very much. 